partnership of almost 50 with Kevin O'Brien. That's a great effort from a tail end. Edge and taken, caught behind. It has happened for Pakistan. It's Kevin O'Brien who can't believe his luck. A big drive and a very good catch by Harris Swell. They needed this slip catching to relieve the pain. Well, it was one gigantic knock. A Herculean effort comes to an end. Yeah, he's clearly disappointed because they needed a lot out of him today. Pakistan have got the big wicket. What did we talk about earlier? Slashing at a wide delivery. He is sick with himself. That a super shot from Boyd Rankin. Tucked away off his legs. Time to perfection. Backward to square for four. Bowling, inside edge, good result for Abbas, yeah, he's, he's still not happy, I don't know why, he's just picked up a wicket, maybe still reeling from that boundary that was hit, but uh, Ireland's innings nearing an end, a couple of quick blows here by Pakistan, latest by Abbas, trying to leave the ball and hit the leg stump, that was that. And when you look at those bowling analysis, probably no one more deserving. Abbas, hold, he bowls accurately. It's a good smack down the ground. And four. And that brings us to the end of the 128th with Ireland 336 for now. Oh, he's bowled him. Straight through him. That's a five-wicket haul for Muhammad Abbas, and he's taken nine wickets in the match. He's had a splendid match here at Malahide. That's his second five-wicket haul in Test cricket, and he gets the uh, accolades and applause from his teammates. Ireland are all out for 339, and Pakistan will need 160 to win this Test match. Three slips and a gully and a short leg. Tim Murta. Bit of swing straight away. So he'll adjust his line straight away. And there you go. There's the first wicket, Timmy Murta. Caught by Paul Sterling at first slip. There's no Gary Wilson. So Sterling goes from second to first slip. Taking it very well. Great set of mitts the big red bearded man has. What a good strike by Tim Murta. He wasn't put off by Azrari coming down the pitch at him and he bowled it perfectly. Beautiful line and length, bit of swing and a comfortable catch for Sterling. And Azrari, he's been on the move and he's on the move back to the pavilion. He's gone for two, it's two for one. Ooh, it was uppish, it was a widish delivery and it's Going to go for four. Six for one. It's a nice. lovely shot. Might go all the way, this. It uh, certainly has. He's just timed that nicely, Imam ul -Haq. Oh, oh. That's gone as well. That's two down. Rankin gets the first one. Sahel has gone for seven. And Pakistan have fallen to 13 for two. What a sharp catch. What a beautiful catch under pressure. Joyce with good pair of hands. It went low. It went quickly. And it was taken. Arisoil goes for seven. Pakistan 13 for two. Making it interesting. Still plenty of cricket to be played on this yeah. final day. And he's bowled him. Unbelievable, Pakistan, 14 for three. And Safiq is on his way back to the dressing room. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Yeah, just going through with that big drive and a gap created between bat and pad. And Ireland are sensing a kill here and a big one.
Asad Shafiq gone for one. Pakistan reeling. 14 for three now. As Rankin continues. A shot on the up. That's going to go for four. Square the wicket. And that's gone for four. Clipped off the legs. Boyd Rankin just straying offline. This will go. Flashed past Andrew McBride at cover. And that's gone for four. Highlights of that match. It's a nice shot. That is a very nice shot from Imam ul -Haq, And it brings up the 50 for Pakistan. Positive footwork. And that will race away for a four. And so many things to like about Imam ul -Haq in this innings. Game. That's invariably what can happen when these sorts of things happen. Short ball, invitingly cracked through the offside, and that brings up the 50 partnership between these two. Oh, that's into the gap. Losing his concentration. The mix up, mix up. How good is the throw? I think it's okay. They're going to have to go upstairs. It's Andrew Balberni who filled it. Firstly, he dived. That was the first part of the act. And then he, well, ideally needed to get a quicker throw in. O-U-T in big red letters. Barbara Zahn, run out. Andrew Balberni, the fielder, he's done well there. And uh, Barbara Zahn has run out for 59. He faced 114 balls. And Pakistan, 140 for four. Nicely played by Safraz, Pakistan's captain. Just guides it down to a vacant third man area. Oh, oh now then, yes, that's a wicket that Stuart Thompson has been looking for. He's been bowling with great earnest and great resolve. And Thompson gets the wicket of Safraz traps him LBW. Safraz didn't look pleased. It'll be interesting to see. So Safraz LBW for eight. Couple here. Two to win, a couple here, and they'll go back for the second run. And it is Imam ul -Haq who gets the two runs that win this test match, this inaugural test match for Pakistan. And he has played a leading hand, 72 not out, on his debut test for Pakistan. And for William Porterfield and the men in green...